Hey guys, I want to talk to you just real quick about doing some photo editing. Um, I'm using PowerPoint. I didn't go buy some expensive program to do this with. There are a lot of free programs on the internet, but we have PowerPoint at school, and so that's what I'm using today. All of the images that you see on the screen are images of my kids that I was able to edit using nothing but PowerPoint. Um, I have my girls. Uh, here's Shelby riding a dinosaur. She was actually on a horse. Uh, you can see the saddle, but I was able to take her out of that picture and put her on the back of a dinosaur. Uh, here's Maddie. She was in field day at Holly Springs, and I was able to take her out of that picture. She's being chased by a big old dinosaur. Uh, here are some pictures of my boys just playing in the woods. Um, I was able to take those two pictures and edit them so that they're fighting Darth Vader. Um, let me show you how I did it. Here's a picture of me in our gym. A neat thing that PowerPoint has added is that if you click on the picture and you go to your picture tools, you now have the option over here in the left hand corner to remove the background. When you click on that, your picture goes purple. Everything that is purple, when you click OK, is going to go away. Now you can see this will need some work. So I'm going to click it again. And I have two options. I can mark areas to keep or I can mark areas to remove. I want to remove several things here. I want to remove the area between my legs. Remove the black. And notice, sometimes you just have to play with it because things go away that you don't want to go away when you click certain areas. Got some wall showing here right by my arm. Uh, doesn't have to be exact. Got some space in between my arms. Now, you can also zoom in if you want to get real close and personal. Uh, you can see there's still a little bit of space there, a um, little bit of space there. It looks like the picture has picked up my shadow on the wall, and so it's keeping all of that. Probably won't be noticed if I do a picture, but as you can see, it's easy to take away. Um, so I'm taking away the shadow. Now, notice down here, my legs are gone, or one of my legs are gone. I obviously want to keep that, so I'm going to flip up here to the plus sign, and all I'm going to do is click and drag where I want to keep. Uh, my shoes came back, not real important for what I'm going to be doing in just a moment, because my feet will be hidden. I want to keep the face of my watch or else I'll have a hole there. So as I scroll back up the picture and I look, everything seems to be all right. Now I've got some things right around my head I want to get rid of. So I'm going to click on those, take those things out, take out this blue writing here. My, it, my ear may go away. Yeah, there it went. So obviously I'm going to come back. I want to keep that. But I want to try and stay as much in my ear as possible. And again, it doesn't have to be exact because we're going to be moving it. So I've cut things down and I've got just me. So I'm going to right click and copy. And we'll go to the next slide and I'm going to paste. Now I'm in the picture. Problem is, or question is, where do I want to be? I could make myself big enough. To be up here with spot but I'm not really facing that direction I think the best bet is going to be back here on the landing with this lady and and the doctor so I'm going to shrink myself down so that I'm roughly their size and you can see him through the picture so it kind of gives you an idea of the sizing and I'm going to set myself right here with them. Again, you can tell I'm placed there. 
which you're going to be able to tell on place there anyway, but you want it to look as real as possible. So what I'm going to do is right click the Star Trek picture again, copy, and then right click, paste it right back on itself, get it lined back up where it was at, go to remove border, and I'm going to remove everything in this picture except for the lady and the red bar that should be in front of me. Now, a lot of it's gone. Her hair's gone. I need her hair in the picture. So I'm going to keep her hair. Um, keep her legs. But I want to remove this computer back here. This little red bar. Her hand went away. I need that. Not worried on her left so much because I'm not going to, you're not going to see me there. I'm more concerned with this area here to her right because that's where I'm standing. I want to keep the red bar though because that should be in front of me. And I've also got the pole here. Now let's see how it looks. So see, I'm back in the picture. Now I could still use some editing. But at this point, you get the idea. I'm behind her. You can see where the other picture is at. But I'm behind her. You can't see my feet, so this may not be a good space for me. What we might want to do is move me back over here behind somebody else. But the point is, you can see how to edit with PowerPoint. It's quick and easy. And it looks good. And most of all, you can access it through your SkyDrive. Thanks. Have a great day. Enjoy.